Hello and welcome to Infinity. In the previous videos I've been talking about one of the ways you can uh, do a dodge and burn is by putting a grey layer or perhaps a transparent layer above the uh, background and uh, there's a kind of debate you know should you have grey should you not one of the arguments for having grey is that you can see where the white is but there's a, something else that we can do so let's put a layer above here we'll leave it transparent we'll do some fairly quick dodge and burn here so I'll just take this brush here I'm going to paint in in white on this layer we will go to overlay so let's just put some white here. One of the things to remember with this, by the way, is to remember where the light source is. Shadows are underneath, lights above. Well, it often is. So you put light more towards the top and you're going to put more shadows down below. So we'll just very quickly do a little bit of this. Then to switch here, I hit the letter X and that switches those. So now I can do a bit of darkening down of some areas here. Remember the dark and underneath areas gives it a bit more depth. Very roughly done here, but it's just to illustrate the point. So, okay, look, so there we've got a little bit of dodging and burning, making the hands a little look a little bit older. So the problem was, and to look at this layer, we could alt click this, but a quicker way is to simply turn off the background underneath. And there we go. We can see there where the grey is, but we can't really see the white. There's a trick that we can do to, so we can see the white. And that is, we'll put in another pixel layer. We'll drag that underneath. And then we'll take the flood fill and we want to fill that with grey. And the way to get to grey is if we go to the swatches, then you've got a mid-grey there and you've got white and black as well. So I'm going to fill that layer and look, there we go. We've got the pixel layer underneath is the grey, the pixel layer on top, that's the dodge and burn. And here we can see where the white is as well as where the black is. And when we turn on our background layer, it simply conceals it. This The pick grey layer goes behind that. So that's that's a great way of doing that. Something else that we can do is if you want to look a little bit more at, at this, you know, um, have another way of looking at it, checking that it's making sense, is we put a layer at the top. And the layer at the top that we put in is an adjustment, and it's a, put in an adjustment that goes to black and white, whatever you like, experiment with them. But I'm going to drag that to the top. I'm just going to turn the saturation down. So now I've got a black and white layer on the top here we just just desaturated and I've kind of, if I turn the dodge and burn layer on and off you can see the effect is happening and this gives a way to sort of double check and look at this going does this make sense because it should make sense in in black and white if any real irregularities you can do something about it so that's another trick that you can use with this um, another thing you can do is if we, when we looked at this, you can see the painting lines here are fairly harsh. But if anyway, everything is it's, it's a bit harsh, is what we'll do is put a blur onto the pixel layer. You can use the blur brush over here, or you can use a, and we can do it specifically in certain areas, or you can do an overall blur. So I do a live filters there, go to Gaussian blur, and then I turn the radius up here and look at how the hand is changing here and the areas there are burning so if we take off the background layer we can see what's happening so when you turn the blur up it softens those lines and so you can then get a better effect here and one last thing that we can do we can go to the pixel layer itself I can invert it so hit control I and it's it what are you doing you're making where you made it dark you know making it lighter so this is sometimes a thing you can do in other words do it in reverse and so this darkens the lights and lightens the darks so it kind of flattens things doesn't look too good here but sometimes that's a neat trick that you can do as well so there you are a whole bunch of extra things that you can do while doing dodge and burn thank you very much for watching